That ad from Chris Collins' campaign is now hitting the airwaves, fresh off his decision to keep his name on the ballot and fight to keep his seat in November. Can you imagine being in his office as long as he has, and instead of talking about what he has done for the people of this region, he's trying to malign me for the fact that I speak a foreign language? It's really desperate. We sat down with McMurray at his campaign headquarters to watch the ad. He says the video is doctored with subtitles that don't match at all what he's saying in Korean, a language he speaks fluently. It's an act directly intended to mislead voters. I mean, he should be held accountable for it. Seven Eyewitness News asked the Collins campaign for an interview with a congressman. The campaign sent a statement that read in part, this ad is already doing serious damage to Nate McMurray's campaign. It's too bad Nate didn't spend as much time protecting American workers as he has obsessing about this ad. The response from McMurray's campaign? My name is Nate McMurray, and I'm running for Congress against a man who's currently indicted and out on bail. Chris Collins. Dan Mecca is president of the local advertising agency, Abby Mecca and Company. He says Collins has set the tone for this campaign and can afford to do so with more than a million dollars in his war chest. Having the money certainly gives you a lot more choices if you're a candidate, whether or not you want to go heavy negative with some positive or do a, do a, a contrasting ad. You really need to rely on the, uh, the advice of hopefully a good a good campaign committee and uh, consultants that, that are going to steer the right way and understand um, how you are being perceived currently by the voters and, and how you'd like them to perceive you. Nikki Dementri, 7 Eyewitness News.